All right, so welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to answer the question seen in the top left. And um, basically, you have two different equations uh, for parts A through C. You can see that the equation is A, or the final amount, equals P0, which is the initial amount, the amount that you're investing, so 10,000, as you can see here. Um, multiplied by one plus the investment, uh, uh, sorry, the interest rate of 4% divided by N, where N is going to be a number. Um, for example, in part A, N is two because you're splitting the year in two. If for part B, it's gonna be four because it's quarterly. And for part C, it's 12 because there's 12 months in a year. Um, then you have that 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. So again, N is going to change for parts A through C. So here I have part A done out. Um, I did this preemptively before recording, so I'll walk you through it. <clears throat> Basically for part A, you have the following. A equals 10,000 because 10,000 is our P naught um, multiplied by 1 plus the rate or 4% and 4% as a decimal is for the 4% divided by 100, which is 0 0.04. So 0 0.04 divided by two, all raised to N, in this case two times T, in this case seven. So I simplified the the equation below, you have 10,000 times 1.02 raised to the 14, because 2 times 7 is 14. 0 0.04 divided by 2 is 0 0.02. Under that, I just kept simplifying. So I have 10,000 times, and this number, or 1.02 raised to the 14, ends up being 1.319479. When you multiply that number by 10,000, you get 13,194. 0.79 and this would be in dollars don't forget your units units are very important for problem d we have a different equation and just because this is continuous compounding as opposed to uh divided throughout the year so you have a the final amount equals the initial amount times the exponential function raised to the interest rate times time. So again, we have $10,000 times the exponential function raised to 0 0.04. Again, this is where we got the interest rate times seven. So we have, <clears throat> uh, which equals 10,000 times 1.323130 close the parentheses, and when you multiply these two out, you get $13,231.30. Now, I did this with the, a calculator, just because the exponential function is very complicated. Um, there's graphs that you can look up to be able to answer this question, but I decided to use a calculator just because it's on hand, and as you can see, I have the TI-89. Now, that being said, I would like for you, the the person who I am answering this question for, to do B, C, and oh, just, that's it, just B and C on your own. Um, if you would like to message me back, if you have any questions, or if you want to give me the answer, and I will let you know if you are correct, um, I will be more than glad to tell you if you are correct. And if you are not, I will definitely, definitely enjoy walking you through this um, in another video. 